Well, once again, Hollywood goes too far in pushing its moral agenda in this latest James Bond debacle, No Time to Die. Or as I like to call it, thank God he dies in the end. Here, watch it now. Well, now that you've seen the best part of the film, let's decipher why I hate it. Can you forgive her? And here's what I hate about this film. This completely unbelievable romance between Daniel Craig and some chick that looks like it could be his granddaughter. They actually have a kid together, and there's no possible way for them to be together. It's a tragic romance. It's not a spy movie at all. It's just a sad, sappy movie. I apologize. I'm sorry. And you should be. What an embarrassing performance. And I can't believe how crappy you are in this film. <laughs> Dumbass. But the one villain in the film actually pulls a turnaround and does some wicked shit that I wasn't expecting. I don't know why they drag child endangerment into the issues on this film, but they did. And then in the moment of truth, look at this crap. He lets her go. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> if you don't want my protection, then off you go. And as he stares at her running away, I guess that's proof he's not really a pedophile. Move. Our first buyers are arriving. And that's my final word on it. Do not see No Time to Die with Daniel Craig. Do not give Hollywood your money and do not support this film. Thank you. Sir? I've just detected some suspicious...